Control nodes and data nodes are widely used to deliver second-to-second -second data to beautiful overlays. But what about those instances where you need to display data on a sub-second basis? Introducing data streams. Unlike data nodes, which have a max update frequency of about one per second, data streams are designed for high frequency, high volume, and low latency data. With multiple updates allowed per second, they provide a highly reliable distribution infrastructure for data like sub-second penalty clocks, race car telemetry, geolocation of planes, and much more. You can find the Display Data Stream Manager within the user menu. Here you can create, delete, rename, and manage your data streams. Okay, let's create a data stream. Once created, you can see that data streams have two tokens, public and private. More on those later. Within the status panel of a created data stream, you can access a number of helpful things, such as copying or regenerating the dedicated tokens, viewing data that has been last received, viewing the amount of active connections like this window, and more. I'm going to use Postman to send data to this new data stream. Copy the private token. Within Postman, paste your private data stream token in the put command. In the JSON body, add your data and send it. I'm sending one simple line of data, which is match time. The data should arrive incredibly fast and to be previewed in your data stream status menu. Now let's get this data stream data into a composition. In this example composition, we have a simple text widget prepared to receive that match clock data. The composition script has to be set up to receive our data stream. You can find an example in the resources section within the marketplace. Note that we've defined our control node in the script and we're assigning the data to that control node. Our public token has also been added in order to receive data from the data stream. Now, if I update the data in Postman and send it to the data stream, we can see the data update in the composition. You should also see that there are two active connections to the data stream. That's it. Play around with data streams to send high-speed data to your compositions.